What's up guys, it is Chris back for Watch Chris. Today we're taking a look at a new brand that I've never featured here on my channel. It's an Italian brand that is owned by a family. So this is actually a family owned brand. The design of the watch is taking inspiration from a 1970s Zenith, the Defy Diver. A really good looking, really funky 70s dive watch with an integrated bracelet. And I think that they get the design right. It also gets 500 meters of water resistance, which is kind of weird. You don't see it very often. So let's flip the camera and take a look at a integrated bracelet watch with 500 meters of water resistance, the Nostas Audis. I've noticed over the past few years, there are a bunch of Italian micro brands sprouting up and they are using some really great designs and some really great materials as well. A lot of their watches are really well made. And this is an Italian micro brand called Nostas. This is the Audis. This is a dive watch, it gets 500 meters of water resistance. And the design takes a lot of inspiration from a 1970s dive watch from Zenith, the Defy Diver. You can see that in the case. The case is very angular. It's sort of a barrel case, but it has these faceted edges that look very, very vintage. And at the same time, very modern. On this watch, it actually looks modern. You also have a bracelet that comes with this. This is on the strap. The strap has end links that actually fit into the integrated portion of the case. Basically, they fit into the integrated hoods, those uh, lugs that are actually hooded. So you can see that right there and it sticks out and that's where the strap actually attaches to. You also get a bracelet that just attaches to that as well. I'll show you that in just a few seconds. You have quick release on here. Very easy to change between the strap and the bracelet. So this is a blue dial with a blue bezel. This also gets a blue strap. It's a baby blue color. That dial gets a really interesting pattern on it, sort of like a diamond pattern with a little dot in the middle. It almost looks like a uh, spaceship Earth. If you're a Disney fan at Epcot Center, the, the that pattern that is on the facade of Spaceship Earth. That's what it looks like. You have applied indices and very large hands. I would say it sort of takes inspiration from maybe something like the Royal Oak. It's definitely its own design. And then you have a lollipop on the second hand. There is loom on there, which is very good. And you can see that this is working in the dark. I like that. You have that blue bezel. That is a ceramic insert. You have a pip in there. That looks really good as well. It is fully polished. So it's really the only polished element on this case, on the head of this watch. Unfortunately, because I have dry hands, it is very hard to grip. And because of the design of the case itself, it is almost impossible to grip. And when you get a hold of it, you really have to hold it down to turn it. So the bezel on here is very, very difficult to operate, as you can see. However, once you do operate, it sounds really good. And it feels really good. However, it's just really hard for me to operate it because of the design. It's inboard of the case and it's polished. So there's not a lot of grip. So it's really hard to get your fingers onto the bezel and it's kind of hard to turn because of that. I mean, it does get 500 meters of water resistance. It does have a helium escape valve right here. So it could be used for saturation diving. Something really easy to use is the crown. Very easy, very grippy. Uh, because of the shape of the crown and the fact that it sort of sits outside of the case itself. You have these crown guards, really easy, very smooth to unwind and wind. So you do get a screwing crown, screwing case back. Obviously that case back is solid because this is a 500 meter dive watch. You are getting a Salita SW200 inside this watch. You get a flat sapphire crystal with AR coating. You get a date at the three o'clock. It is not color match, so it takes the place of the index at three o'clock, matching the index at the nine o'clock. This is essentially a 39 millimeter watch. It measures at 39 and a half millimeters if you're measuring it at the case or in between the case and the bezel. So I would say it wears like a 40 millimeter watch. It is 13 millimeters thick. That's including the sapphire crystal. You have a screwed in case back and screwed in crown. 
500 meters of water resistance. All that considered, automatic movement, that's not that bad. And then the lug to lug is 52 millimeters. You have about a 5.8 millimeter crown, but it looks large because it does sit so far off of the case like that. So it's part of the look. On my wrist today, I have my Hydro Conquest GMT, which is a watch that I purchased at some point last year, or was it earlier this year? I can't even remember. I really love this watch. Uh, this is the green version. So you have the green dial, green bezel, or it's really like a black bezel. I can never really tell because they're so close in color, but just overall uh, a great GMT that is uh, just a really go-to watch. I haven't worn it very much recently, but I have been wearing it over the past few days and I love this watch. And there's the Audis on my seven and a half inch wrist. Like I was saying, this is a 13 millimeter thick watch. It really is pretty thin considering that you're getting 500 meters of water resistance. You do have a 52 millimeter lug to lug. That's including those end links on a bracelet. It actually wears smaller uh, and I'll show you that right now. And here it is on the flat link bracelet. As you can see, this is like a flat link bracelet. The interaction between the case and the bracelet is a little bit different from the strap for one reason or another. It has shorter end links that actually go underneath right over here. So that means you're actually getting a shorter lug to lug. So it will wear better on a bracelet than it will the strap because of that. It's a 48 millimeter, 48.9 millimeter lug to lug so that is very good it's around a 40 millimeter watch it's between 40 and 39 millimeters uh, because of the case and the case shape i would say it wears like a 40 millimeter watch it is entirely brushed you do get solid links solid end links quick release uh, the only thing i would complain about is that you do have friction pins and the buckle is somewhat of a generic buckle that is pretty small and you only get, I think, four positions of micro adjust. I don't see any half links. Uh, I would like to see some half links on the bracelet. Uh, but other than that, it's a nice bracelet. It integrates with the case very well. It looks really good with the case. Uh, I just wish there was a little bit more, I guess, specs to the bracelet. Price on this watch right now on their website comes out to around $1,300. So it's $1,000. $328. It is on the more expensive side, but you are getting a Swiss movement and a very unique case. So the case on here isn't that easy to make. The bracelet, you're getting the strap as well with the end links and a really nice buckle on there. I'll throw a picture of the buckle on the strap. It looks really good. Uh, you know, there could be improvements to the case and of course the bezel because the bezel is almost useless for someone like me with dry hands. If you have, uh, you know, hands that are, uh, have a little bit more grip on them, that would work better for you. But I have pretty dry hands, so it doesn't work very well for me. But the inspiration that they're using here and the design that they've made is somewhat original considering nobody else is really doing it. And I think that's uh, pretty cool. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Let's do a quick loom shot. Well, loom is very, very good on here. There's loom on the bezel, which I wasn't really expecting. Obviously, all the hands are loomed. You have very weird looking hands that are partially skeletonized. Each of the white parts on those hands are loom. So there's even lines that are loomed on the skeleton part, which is excellent. The applied indices, those are loomed. And of course, you have a little bit of loom on the second hand. So you could see that the watch is working in the dark. I like all of those aspects. I think they did a great job with the loom. Overall, I really like the design of this watch. I think if someone saw you wearing this watch, they would think it's a more expensive watch than it actually is. Even though this does cost a lot of money considering it's a micro brand, uh, I think a lot of people would think this is a more expensive watch than it actually is. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. I'll put a link to this watch in the description below. Very good looking watch from an Italian brand. And I, obviously they've put a lot of thought and effort into the watch. There's lots of really cool details. Plus you're getting 500 meters of water resistance, something that I don't see very often anymore. In fact, I think the last 500 meter dive watch that I've had on my channel uh, was a very long time ago. I think a lot of brands have either settled on 300 meters or 200 meters and they don't go for more anymore. And 
Here's one with 500 meters of water resistance. Again, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. I'll put a link to the brand. Definitely check it out if you are interested. Anyway, guys, thank you for logging on. I will catch you in the next video.